just so you can give us a quick highlight reel of the, of the glider. A quick highlight reel. Let me do the interior. There isn't such a thing as a quick highlight reel with a JS3. <laughs> it's a very, very, very long highlight reel. Yeah. <laughs> but some of the features that have been changed is the four pins. Oh, oh yeah. On the canopy, that's way different from what the JS1 was. Yeah. Um, the thinking behind that is to support the canopy at four points. So the canopy, f the canopy floats on the canopy sill, and then you've got a lot better seal and a lot better fit. Better seal and, and better strength, I imagine. Uh, definitely, yeah. So this is also strengthening um, the, the for the cockpit loads during a crash. Yes. Uh, it keeps the buckling to a minimum. So the, the buckling, well, this, this keeps it in so the sill won't buckle that easily if, if you do get into a crash situation. Got that's it. One of the, um, that's one of the uh, upgrades that we made on the JS1 when we were certifying for YASA as well. Got it. So what, what AP just said is that there's this new four pin support structure system for the canopy. You can see it there on the other side. As well as these underlying seals here. So it's pulling the canopy down and floating on the structure rather than worrying about interconnectivity or a overlacing of the structure. Correct. Which gives it much more crash strength and a better fit and a better seal. Got it. Okay. And the rudder pedals are just gorgeous. Up rudder there. pedals, and you can also see the rudder pedals have been angled slightly, so yes. that your feet sit in a more natural position. Okay. Um, this has been added. Some of the pilots complained that they don't have a place to put their heel or push yeah. themselves out of the cockpit, especially yeah. some of the older guys. So that's that's been added to to help with that. Got it. Um, this is the venting system. So the new venting system. That's the seal. So the air gets pulled oh. in down the bottom and then up through here. Got it. So the air comes through that channel, Correct. down through the center channel, and then it's sealed here. I don't know if you can see that, guys, on the top of and this. And the other pin. functionality of that is that it cools down the instruments. And it cools down the instruments. Yeah. Brilliant. Hey, how are you? There's the man himself uh, man. taking <laughs> orders. Taking orders. <laughs> take no orders. How are you, buddy? No. The only orders I take is for my wife. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> All right, well, AP is giving us a great tour. So, so we saw the canopy, we saw the new wing, which is apparently structurally better, and obviously aerodynamically better. Much worse. No, 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 no. That's structurally not worse? Not no. worse, but difficult to fit. Okay. It's structurally different. It's structurally different. You know, you told me that this canopy and, and the interior wasn't quite ready. This is gorgeous. This is Absolutely, absolutely quite, beautiful. It's not quite ready. It's like a like a Lexus. <laughs> so you're saying mine's going to be even better? I'll be full after. But is a, is a <laughs> Lexus good enough? <laughs> right. I want a Ferrari. I, uh, uh, it's almost done. But and uh, the, the the canopy latching mechanism on this is some um, manufacturing defects. It's acceptable for now. Yeah. Um, but the uh, the springs to to lock it so you don't jettison it. Um, okay. Is is not installed correctly. Mm -hmm. Or um, it was just sort of manufactured and designed at the same time. The last little bit. The other one's already better. Mm -hmm. This one is not so so good. Um, yeah, but this is this isn't the production canopy yet, mm -hmm. right? You modified it, so. Yeah, and then the, the shape of the canopy is slightly low. Yeah. So you lose a bit of head space. Yeah. And then the seat back needs a bit more curvature for the parachute, so it's um, it, uh, it needs a little bit more um, depth, and you have it available here, yeah, but obviously it is not. Um, Realize that. Got it. Got it. And then, um, well, I mean, what else? Maybe, maybe let's walk back to the tail for a second and tell us about the probes in the tips. As long oh. as you make no videos and recordings, then we can tell you all the secrets. Okay. Well, then we can't because <laughs> you're being recorded. All right. So they're still holding no, their cards to their chest here a little no, bit. No, 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 not really. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it's available now. It's public. You can see whatever you like. Yeah. Tractable tail gear and. Uh, Clean and the tail optional retractable. I think for rough conditions you should just use a normal fixed wheel. Yeah. Um, but there's nothing, nothing sticking out in the sides. No, nothing obstructing the fin, destroying the fin. So we have probes in the, in the tail plane, so you lose uh, less uh, laminar flow area. Right. And uh, slightly higher aspect rudder, so that the forces are, are, are lighter and you have uh, bigger laminar flow areas over the tail section. So, in general, we scored a lot of laminar, additional laminar area in the, in the aircraft. That was the gain. The gains are higher wing loading and more laminar area. This higher are, this wing? Are, okay. These are the... So, obviously, the pitot, the pitot tube is in one side and the uh, total energy is in the other? That's correct. Okay. Fantastic. And then, and then, was this glider optimized for 15 or 18? What? This is a 15, can't you see? 
Right. It's 15 meter glider, as you can clearly see. I think we have still maybe an error on one sticker there. If you see somebody saw that there's 18 meter written on, the, on one sticker. So um, maybe we must just update the sticker and just say it's 15. <laughs> and also the, the placard here is also just the old stickers. We just got turned the 21 to 18 and we just smack it in and we forgot to, we got to change it properly. Okay. We changed the 21 to 15 and forgot about the rest. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying the 18 is the, is the 15 until you prove it's better and then you update the placard. Yeah, so so maybe it's easier just to change the placard. It's much cheaper <laughs> than to build another wing. Well, it's really, really gorgeous and uh, excited to see it fly. Is today the first day you're going to fly in Manala, maybe? Yeah, if the weather turns out to be good, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's a what little bit... What do you bit, think, Gary? A little bit uh, shoddy. No, 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 it's a, all right, guys. I'll give you the give you the shot of the wing here as best as we can. Capture, and then you can see the uh, the wheel, which I actually really love. So you can move the glider. Very small winglet. Look how high those doors are. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Back here, you can see the pedo on the end, so a couple different reasons for that. It basically less drag, it disturbs less of the tail plan. And then you can see the higher aspect rudder, so less rudder load. It is quite tall and narrow. Here's the retractable gear, as much as you can see it. There you go, guys. Alright, guys.